Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. This time we are going in for Doctor and their Ultra Mutation, which we're going to have to go and get Bolt Marrow and no other weapon modifiers whatsoever. We don't have the crown to set up for this guy to start with. This dude simply just gets um, better mutations and less rads from enemies convert life into rads. It's kind of an interesting setup to be honest. We can get a really early level with him, with him, which is really, really nice. But we are going to need to get some golden weapons unlocked and stuff. But this, this might be my least played as character, to be honest. So we'll try and go for, like, open mind and get the get the other crown so that we can get some uh, early levels and stuff. Um, and golden mutations, all that good stuff. Um, we'll go with flexible elbows right off the bat. Why not? Apparently, puffy cheeks plus flexible, el plus flexible elbows is a... Is a pretty good mix. And anything that we can get that's going to heal us a good amount is going to be really, really nice as well. So I'm going to be taking some early, early risks to try and get um, more rads to begin with. So we'll see how that goes for us. It might end up being a little too risky. I don't know. Either way, we're going to have some fun with it. This guy is a lot of fun. Um, I love the idea of being able to trade hell for rads whenever I want um, to get level ups early if I want to take the risk sort of thing. Ah, there you go. So there, there's too much risking. Too much risking. You can kill yourself. Okay, I just need to try that. I always want to get level 2 on the first stage, so we'll always do exactly what I just did there. And I'm, I'm trying to think of a few ways we could do this. I wonder if um, the one that every fourth hit is negated, I wonder if that works with this guy. Because if it does, that could be really goddamn good. Yeah, that could be really goddamn good. Um, well, there's Bolt Marrow. We get plus 15 Herming. We actually get what we uh, get to see what our bonus is here. Your active also deals damage to all enemies on the screen and steals some of their rats. That's really good. We've got to take Bolt Marrow for the quest, I'm pretty sure. We just can't take any other weapon-specific mutations. So we'd have to be a little bit wary of that. Now, this area can be pretty tricky, so I don't want to go down to 1 HP. I think even going down to 2 here is a bit bit too risky, to be honest. As you can see why right now. There you go. We're okay, we're okay. We'll grab Frost on that bad boy. And I've run out of ammo. Okay, uh, wasn't expecting to run out of ammo here. Certainly spells trouble. Damn it! <laughs> that was awful! Okay, apparently we do have a golden weapon. It's just a golden... Okay, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We should really be uh, starting with the golden screwdriver here. Just because with the golden screwdriver, at least we can... Uh, we can try and get some more golden weapons unlocked. Pretty simply. So we should try and do that as much as we can. Does make our start a little more... A little more... Eh. Not great, but there's our crossbow. Just looking for good old bolt marrow now. Do like this. This seems very good. If I can get plutonium hunger going with this, this seems very, very good. <laughs> and maybe second stomach would be really good with this as well. Yes, I'll just see if I can get level 3 before the next floor. Indeed, I can. Um, there's Plutonium Hunger, as I just said. I think it's really good. Apparently, a bunch of things are going to get nerfed in the next patch, like um, Trigger Fingers and Plutonium Hunger, which I kind of agree with, to be honest. They're really, really, really strong at the moment. So I don't disagree with that entirely. There you go. I'm liking this throne butt. This throne butt is very, very good. Lots of rads coming our way. Right. Take care of that poison real quick. Oh, oh, uh, 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 no, okay, melee weapon. <laughs> Time to get out the melee weapon. I could not hit that guy for the life of me for some reason. Sometimes it just doesn't work the way you want it to, does it? It just doesn't work the way you want it to, my god. Okay, we're, 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 we're doing all right, we're doing all right. Does a decent amount of damage. I wonder if that damage is affected by, like, scarier face and stuff. I mean, I know it will be by glass arm cannon, because it lowers the enemy's HP. 
I'm curious about a scarier face and ecstatic elbows. Uh, ecstatic fists, sorry, whatever it's called. Unfortunately, I lost my crossbow here, but I am still going to go... No, I'm not. <laughs> Oops. Uh, that's... Oh, come on now. So, he his entire thing is better mutations, but like... 5% damage. This, see this, under 6 HP, huge bonus. But minus 2% extra HP. I, I mean, it should be at least 5, come on now. Um, probably going to go with, with this bad boy, I think. Right, there's our crossbow. Right, looking for our golden car, of course. Puffy cheeks, last things. That enemy did not die. I just assumed it did. I don't know why I thought they were one crossbow bolt to kill. They are most certainly not. Right, I'd very much like my throne butt back, please. Very much like my throne butt back, please. And yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking for second stomach as well here. See, this is, this is the one that I want to see. Negate every fourth hit and... Uh, okay. I want to see how, how this goes. Um, one, two, three, four. Yes, it does work. Still got to be careful here. I'm one HP at the moment. One. Do not like not having a gun right now. That's uh, a little sketchy. A hey, shotgun's very, very nice. We do like a shotgun. Basic weapon early, but a fun one nonetheless. So we could, we could just get some free rads every now and again with this. Um, everything that deals more than four damage to you deals two less. Um... Yeah, I think we'll go with Tough Shell. I think Tough Shell makes a lot of sense. It's also a good way of us gaining ammo with the negating hits, as long as we can get enough health to make it work. Double machine gun. Probably better than the thingy here, um, than the shotgun. Especially if I can get an accuracy increase, which we'll be looking for now. Still no throwing butt right now though. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Very much do not like the fact that you can perfectly shoot through that gap there, my ladder. It's not uh, not what I'd say is, is too fun for me. That's a lot of crocodilia. A lot of crocodilia. No thank you. Yeah, this gun's honestly not doing a not doing an amazing job right now for us. Morpha pistol. I'll go through here, please. Maybe it'll be better with electricity attached to it, or maybe I should see what my other weapon chest is and wait on this lightning here. Dead glove. I don't know what the dead glove is, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's a bit risky. But dead glove, I don't know what that exactly means. It seems reasonable so far. So far it seems reasonable. Um, I can actually hurt a lot of enemies without moving. Frost Knife is a good one to start with. Do not like this situation. That was a bit risky. We got through it okay, but that was a bit risky. Did get another gold weapon, which is kind of nice. The Frost Knife is a, is a pretty decent one. I think micro weapons, gold and micro weapons are coming, by the way. Um, so I've seen in the Discord, so I'm very excited for that.
Right, I'm not looking to um, to fight the boss with my dead glove here, I'll be honest. But I'm also not looking to fight it with a knife. Where the hell's my red chest? There it is. Can we can we give me the health, please? Thank you. Oh, that was a bit sketchy. That was a bit sketchy. Um, thrown butt. Let's go. Negated that hit. Lovely. Maybe dead golf's going to be good here. Certainly seems like it's pretty good. Okay, this is going pretty well. Who, who's left? How how are you left? Is it an explosive boy? Nope, it's just you. And you. You managed to get all the way back to the goddamn spawn room. Okay. Once again, not really got the right weaponry for a boss here. Not the best ever. Okay, we're getting through it though, we're getting through it. We're just leveling very slowly. We need to go to our crown vault and pick up a crown at some point here so we can speed this up next time. But director burst grenade launcher sounds... Sounds pretty interesting. It sounds mighty dangerous, I will say. That's a lot of uh, car-wielding big boys. Really want to switch out the weaponry that I'm using right now. I do not like it. Is that another car-wielding boy? What's the deal today? Energy Backstabber. There's our Bolt Marrow. Lovely stuff. We've not taken any of the weapon-based mutations, have we? I don't think we have. Energy Backstabber. Intriguing? Kind of not what I expected it to do. It's very charge reliant, which I'm not I don't know if I'm happy about or not. It seems pretty good so far. It just it's kinda of slow for a melee weapon is all. Okay, a few more of you down here. Come on, I need to fill this guy up. Come on, come on, come on, where are you? Come on, doggy. I just need to come quickly. Dude, don't, don't be like this. How did you end up all the way back down here, you goofball? Come on, up here. Okay, I guess not. Oh, no, no, now I hit him, he comes over here. Come on. This guy only needs a few more reds. How are you so bad at moving? I'm right here. I'm right. That's got to be close enough. Nope. Nope. How is that not enough? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait. Let's try and widen up this uh, this avenue a little bit. Oh god, this thing like fires such a short range. Right, there you go. How is that not enough? Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you've got your little saw blades. I know, I know. This is the, the longest I've ever waited to try and do this before. How are you not ready? Oh my god. Goodness, this is infuriating. This guy is just eating thousands and thousands of rads. How about this? Does that work? There you go. It does. Wait, what the? Di I pressed the wrong button. I don't want to live anymore. Runs dead. That 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 run annoyed me. Beyond comprehension.
Oh man. Can't believe I just closed it. Why did I do that? Um, adrenaline fuel is also getting a nerf at some point, but for right now, I'm going to use it because it's obscenely powerful. Oh, what? Oh, I thought I had 2 HP. <laughs> I can't play this game right now, my brain. My brain is not working. Give me my crown, please. I just want to use my crown. Nail machine gun. Now that I can get behind. Nail machine gun with bolt marrow seems like a particularly fun setup. This thing with the ability to have a lot of ammo seems like it could be really, really good. But the minute the ammo consumption is pretty high, so I'm not going to say it's the best yet, but it has the potential. It has the potential. At least we've got bolt marrow going already. Realistically, we should be using melee weapons on enemies like this. There's no reason to use ammo on them. It's just too easy to use a melee weapon on these guys. Holy shit! It uses so much ammo, but this thing's amazing! Give me a gold one of these, please. <laughs> um... Does... Lucky sh See, come on, 2% chance. Just, you might as well just not fucking bother. <laughs> the doctor gains, like, literally nothing from most of these. Um, does that count as a weapon mutation? I don't think it does. I'm going to go with Eagle Eyes, I think. Yeah, doctor seriously needs uh, needs some buffing, I think. He's, uh, most of his things basically have no reason, like, no reason to exist. The, the buffs are so minor, you'd literally never notice them. I realise that obviously he has an ability as well, which is very good. His uh, better mutations is only minor, but I'd rather the ability be worse and the better mutations be more interesting than just, like, here's 2% on top of 20%. Here's a 10% increase. It's just like, ugh, just don't care. I simply do not care. Right, I'm going to need more ammo for this bad boy shortly. And by shortly, I mean literally after this kill. What ammo are you going to steal, boy? Let me put my frost knife on. I kind of forgot I had it. What is that? Super toxic crossbow. That seems deadly as all hell, so I will take it. Take me away. I like the way it like, spreads the poison forward. This thing's goddamn strong with the uh, accuracy boost as well. Golden crossbow. Very, very good for us. In fact, so good I think I'll just take that now. So I can use a bit less ammo. I don't have to use the toxic all the time. Right, we can do this. We can do this. What are we going to go for here? Adrenaline fuel is probably the best one out of these. We'll take it. Especially for the near and unlimited ammo. We'll try and save our uh, super crossbow for big hordes of enemies slash bosses. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. That was close, wasn't it? That was quite close. Right, Kuro, do you wanna? Oh no, you're not a Kuro. Wow. Surprising. Very surprising. Okay. How did you not die there? Wow. Okay, 
Careful. I see you, I see you. I got a heal from that, apparently. Don't know why. I guess adrenaline fuel just healed me at the perfect time. And a mimic chest there. Shotgun lands, I think I'll take. Yes, that's pretty good. As, as a backup weapon. Bit of melee, bit of shotgun. How are we earning level 5 this late in? I'm too used to the speed of leveling up um, with my other setup. But throne vaults are just not coming to us at this time. we got to be patient. Um, this is kind of tricky. Um... Wow, the damage this crossbow puts out is unreal. There's a super splinter gun here as well. Good, good. Electro gun. I've never found the electro gun to be that good, even though it's a high tier weapon. The accuracy is helping a lot on this as well, actually. I didn't even realize, but it's making a big difference. Yeah, no, no car throwing will, uh, will stop me, thank you. Through these stages, a bit harder to use this, but with the uh, bonus accuracy, it's not as bad. Okay, there's a lot going on down here as well. Oh, there's a sheep. Dude, I closed the fucking cr throne vault again. Apparently that is my curse on this character. Never allowed to go and get a crown. It's just beyond, beyond comprehension for me. I won't even see you there. I don't know how I messed that up so bad, but... How are these enemies behind me and I'm just not seeing them? Like... I'm just oblivious, apparently. <laughs> right, okay. And then why is the end stage all the way over there? We're good to go. Oh my god, I got hit pretty hard there. Really, he jumped right over that. Yeah, no thank you, little hunter. We know your business. We want none of it. We want none of it. Few little doggies chilling back here. Okay. What was that? The Shanker? Was that called? This thing seems low range, but very, very good. But I was just about to say, but I'm gonna die to these fucking stupid bats. God damn, do I hate these bats? Right. Get me off this goddamn golden crossbow, please. Give me my frost knife. Actually, no, give me my crossbow. I'm gonna go with the crossbow. Please. Please just let me get a crown this time. How are the vaults so easy to open on every other character? But this guy, I just cannot do it. Right, through here. Um, Eagle eyes again, I think. The doctor does not want to work with us today. Dude, no. Stop pulling me into the fucking... Ugh, I'm getting so frustrated right now. Game is just not cooperating. Don't pull me into the portal. Just, just let me walk into it. Why does the pulling have to occur? And then that mouth closed before I wanted it to. Good. All oh, right. Bolt marrow. Good, good. I love bolt marrow on the maggots. It's so satisfying. 
It's like one of the things in the base game that's just like never gets old. Good. Nice bit of healing there as well. Should have got level 3 before coming to this stage really, but this will be okay. The goddamn fish again, Bolt Marrow, very good against these fish, because otherwise they are kind of a nightmare. Director Rifle, no thank you, I don't think. Um, do we want to go through them, but... Nah, we're going... I'm just grabbing Eagle Eyes every time here, it's just so good. What we got here, Director Shotgun, meh. Ah, oh, fish. Get lost. Lots of bouncy shots. No time to deal with them. And then one little fella just down here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What weapon is this? Micro grenade. Okay, this thing seems amazing. Um, adrenaline fuel. This thing seems right up my alley. The micro weapons are just my favourite class of weapons in this game. But this thing seems kind of insane. You got an eraser? I haven't seen the eraser in a long time. Right. Good, good. Okay, that's a lot of rads that I'm missing out on there. Let's try and get in here without taking too much damage. I don't know how. How am I still alive? <laughs> right, plutonium hunger is feeling more and more necessary right now. Kind of wish I'd have taken it back there, but... Adrenaline rush is what's allowing us to use ammo. Micro minigun? Oh, this is my favorite gun ever. Micro minigun. Holy shit. There needs to be more micro weapons. I'm loving this. Two new ones that I've never seen today. And I am in love. Um, We're dying a lot, so honestly, I think Strong Spirit is a really good grab right now. Unfortunately, we can't take any bullet modifiers, so we can't get any ones that give us more ammo on this. I think Lucky Shot counts as a bullet modifier. Like a, a weapon type modifier, should I say. There's a lot of these dudes around. Very nice respite on these guys, but there is a lot of them. Finally, we did it! We got a crown! Right. What crown do we take is the question. What's going to be a good crown to take? I could go with the tiny krakens. Yeah, let's go with the tiny krakens. Oh my goodness. That wasn't good. And we'll... I don't even know what killed me there. Oh, man. I'm sad. The micro weapons. Right. Come back to me, you goober. It's time to actually do the, the, the real setup here, where we can level up quickly. It's painful how slow leveling up is when you're not doing this strategy. I can't believe I missed that. Also, was there no rad canister? Is it, does this character not have rad canisters? Have I been missing out? Um, I think plutonium hunger is best thing here. I think this character just might not have rad canisters, and that might be why I'm leveling so slow. I know that enemies do give less rads as this character, but I think I don't remember seeing rad canisters, actually, now that I think about it. Which uh, means this crown isn't actually very good at all. Ooh, ooh, I've got an idea though. I've got an idea next time we die, if we die. 
One moment. We are back. But yes, I think I have an idea of something interesting we could do if this crown doesn't end up being what I, all that I'd hoped it would be, which I'm actually feeling, yeah, seeing how there's actually no rad canisters as this guy. This bit, do you know what? That makes this character kind of stinky. Like, I, there's um, Rogue, who doesn't get rad canisters by default, and then this character, and yeah, don't, I don't like that. I don't like it when characters don't get rad canisters. I feel like I've been cheated. But I've got an idea of how to make this guy potentially pretty crazy. Okay. Back to main menu. Go back here. And instead we take... Um, which one is it? Taking damage... Um, no. I... I thought there was one where it was get rads whenever you take damage. Or is it just this one? Let's try this one. Okay, I don't take double damage from my ability here, so this is good to know. I really need to get second stomach at some point on one of these runs. Um... I healed from that. That's kind of funny. Excuse me, maggot, please. Enemies could do to drop a bit more HP as well, to be honest. That would also be quite nice. A little bit of HP, please. Um... Rad's heal. Let's try that out with this setup. Oh shit, he just busted out the wall right next to me. I wasn't expecting that. Mini plasma gun. Ooh, we got one of the special chests up here. Frost assault pistol. Could be good, could be good. Okay, this setup's pretty good. Second stomach. There you go. We got it, finally. I've probably seen it a bunch of times and just forgot about it. And now we need, like, rabbit's paw to make sure we can get, um, thingy more often. Where's our little hole? There it is. We'll go straight through here, I think. Pizza time. Good, good. Lance, potentially pretty good. I think I'm going to stick with what I got there. Okay, um... I think we go with boiling veins to be honest. It seems really, really good. Do not like this guy. Frost pistol to try and keep him frozen seems like a good idea. It's actually working extremely well. <laughs> that worked immensely well while. Wow. Well, that's kind of close. Is it just me, or did that one shot just deal six fucking damage to me? Anyways, I'm giving up. I honestly think Doctor is stinky poo-poo and needs some serious buffs to his mutation uh, increases, because they're just pointless right now. I apologize to the dev. I'm, I, I don't want to shit on what you've done. It's a cool idea, but... 
I would much rather his right-click ability give less rads and the mutations be buffed more. Like, 25% or so. At least 20%. 10% is just worthless. Um, either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.